why is fragrance and perfume and smell so important to us as people, as humans? Why do we love it so much? Find out why it matters and why this is so important in our lives coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. Joel The Nose. I actually had one of my friends who, who is a musician come up with a jingle that I still gotta put down. It was really cool, it's like Joel The Nose. Anyways, <laughs> she's a great singer. Um, so today's video, it's one I haven't talked about in a while. I, I, in the past I've talked about it after I've done a lot of research on fragrance and smell and, and the sense of smell and why it matters, okay? Why does it matter so much to us? Why do we love it? Why do some of us just completely adore this, you know, this world of perfume and fragrance? And really, it's very simple. It's biological. It's part of who we are. The sense of smell, for those of you who don't know, it's scientific. It's the one sense of the five senses, okay, that we have as humans, the sense of smell. First of all, it's the least studied, so we're just now starting to learn a, more, a lot more about it and, and its importance. But the other thing is the sense of smell is the only sense that is processed in the same part of the brain as emotion and memory. So that's why the sense of smell, when you smell something that you haven't smelled in a long time and it transports you back to many years ago, maybe, maybe even to when you were just a small, small child. And so this is something that is extremely important in our brains and in our makeup of our biology. So it's not just something that, you know, you have a hobby, like any other hobby, like collecting coins or car, baseball cards or uh, cars or, or whatever it may be. You know, guys like to collect a lot of things, uh, watches, whatever it may be. This is collecting perfumes. It, it's more than that because the sense of smell matters. It st tells a story in our life. It, again, reminds me of your, maybe your father, your mother, your grandmother, a lost love, because it transports you back in time because when you smell something at some point in your life, your brain processes it, processes it, processes it in an emotional way. So it links your emotions to that smell. You have in a visceral, an actual, almost animalic, something that you can't necessarily uh, think about intellectually because it's an emotion that you smell. That's why it's so important. And why does it matter? You know, just to give you a couple examples, here is a bottle that I bought in the last year of the classic French women's perfume, Ane Ane. This was out in the 70s and 80s. It was everywhere when I was a little kid. And in the 80s, maybe it came out in the 80s, I don't know if it came out in the 70s, but this was everywhere in, in the 1980s. People, women wore this, and the girl who was the first crush that I ever had when I was 16, 17, 18 years old, the girl that I was absolutely in love with, totally in love with, wore a nay, -a -nay. So when I smelled this again, walking around, I hadn't smelled it in like, since the late 80s, really, and I smelled it again about a year and a half ago, and it instantly transported me back, like a time machine to when I was 17, 18 years old, hanging out with her in school, at her house, and smelling this. It was such an evocative memory that just, it, it like, you could feel it in your bones. So of course I immediately found it online and picked up a bottle, and to me now, it is just a beautiful smell. I've had some people smell it, some women, just to get their opinions on it who don't know about it because this is an older perfume, vintage, I would say at this point. And some reactions are, oh, it smells like an old lady or it smells old. I, I, I don't get that all. I love it. It's flowery, it's beautiful, it's classic. I love it. Why? That's one reason, an example, why perfume matters. I'll give you another example. Here is Halston Z14. I also got this in the last year. This is, of course, not one of the original, this is not an original uh, bottle from the 70s and 80s. This was the men's perfume in the United States in the 1970s and 80s. You could not go out to a club, you could not go out to uh, a social setting, 
anywhere without smelling this on a man. This was the gentleman's perfume. It was the clubbing perfume. It was used for everything. And this reminds me of my dad. My dad had this perfume. I remember him getting ready for work in the morning. He wore a suit every day, putting on his suit, putting on his perfume and smelling that. And I could still smell it at the end of the day when he came home. Of course, it had the mixture of other smells as he came in from a rough day of work. Well, when I say rough day, I mean, he, he was a professional, but with a very stressful job, had his own business. And this now, when I smell this, it reminds me of my dad who unfortunately passed away now 13 years ago that I've not had my father in my life. And you know, this is one little piece of memory. Another reason why smell and fragrance matter so much to us. I'm going to end this video with one last story that um, I saw actually on the news this weekend, which prompted me to do this video. It was a story about Ukrainian refugees and uh, this, 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 these ballet dancers from Ukraine who were like some of the world's best, but after the Russian invasion, they had to flee their country and they're now, they've been dispersed to all parts of the world. And they, this one girl, she must've been about 15 or 16 years old, one of the most promising young ballerinas in the entire world, had her world completely shattered. She didn't know if she'd ever dance again. She was given a second opportunity to basically go to a home in Holland, into the Netherlands, where they have in the capital there in Amsterdam, an amazing, one of the best uh, ballet schools. And she told the story, of course, crying and leaving her mom at the airport in Ukraine, flying to her new life of unknown in another country of, in a language she didn't speak, not knowing what was gonna happen. And she, in her little bag full of clothes, she just took a couple things. Basically it was her clothes that she took with her. And one other thing was a bottle of perfume that her mom wore. She took a bottle of perfume. Imagine this, one little duffel bag of whatever she could take and fit her life into, into this new life. And she took a bottle of perfume to remind her of her mom. That's how important fragrance and smell is to us. It's not just smell, it's emotion, it's memory, it's passion, it's biology, it's everything. And that's why this is such a great, when I say hobby, Hobby is, to me, a word that it, it can't even contain or describe what those of us who love fragrance and perfume is. So for those of you who love it, keep on loving it. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about having this passion about wanting to always try new fragrances and, and even collect them. It's something that brings you joy and passion and creativity in your life. Go for it. Go for it and enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. This was a different video today, but one I felt that needed to be done after I saw that story this weekend on that, that ballerina. It just moved me so much. Thank you again for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.